Hey everybody, um, decided to do one more review today. Um, I realized I forgot to re-review uh, OSSS, which is Online Solution Security Suite. Um, I did their beta review a while ago, and with their recent uh, showing at the, uh, very well showing at the HIPS um, test that is done, uh, Uh, right here you can see that they uh, I'll show you guys real quick here they did very well here 99% um, the one thing you gotta realize though that this suite is not free it is uh, I think $25 I'm not sure if it's a lifetime license or a one year license I haven't looked into it too well but this is a version 1.5 it is out of beta so I went and uh, installed it and uh, I left everything just like it is. I haven't changed anything. Everything's exactly like it is. I did notice that they have the heuristic analyzer, and they also have a che you can put a check mark for malicious activity. Uh, it can create rules for it, uh, resolve and automatically create rules for, but it doesn't come checked uh, when you install it. So I'm not gonna mess with any of that. I only have five links because this isn't an AV engine. Um, so there's nothing to download, there's no signatures, none of that. And let's see what we got here. Uh, they did take care of some of the memory usage. They're about, I don't know, 17 megs, 16, right around there right now, so that's much better than it was before. Um, the one thing I did notice is that it still asks you a lot of questions about the operating system, what it wants to do. But, so they still need to work on uh, uh, using their whitelist better. I don't know if they have one. They probably do, but um, I definitely, if I was them, I'd definitely work at getting that worked out. Okay, so uh, we're trying to, Internet Explorer trying to create an executable. So we will allow that for now. Okay, it's trying to open, and it's still trying to create the executable. Now it's trying to launch it. Trying to launch it. Okay, here we go. It's trying to access a Windows DNS service. If you trust this program. It, it even tells you, it's kind of nice how it tells you, and then you can, you know, if you don't want the suggestion, you can turn it on and off. And basically, it's telling you that malicious programs may use it to transfer data from your computer. Of course, we know that it's a bad program, so we will block it. And again, I tried to get some more exploits here than anything else. Okay, it's trying to launch. Okay, here we go. We got a red thing here. It's trying to launch another process. It's that same crack program that we had before. It's trying to launch the command, the CMD. So we'll block that. And it's trying to... Internet Explorer is just trying to create the process. Again. And now it's trying to launch the process. It's trying to create a new file. Program wants to run automatically every time you start the computer. Well, we know that's a bad program, of course, but there's no nothing else that tells you that the difference between a bad program and a good program. So this is uh, for advanced users only. Okay, so we know that's a bad program, and we'll block it. And we'll block it again. And again. trying to create a temp file. It's trying to download some kind of package. Okay, that link isn't working. Apparently neither 
there is that one. Okay, Internet Explorer is trying to create a new executable file. Again, Internet Explorer is trying to launch another process, so we'll leave, we'll let it try to do that. That seems to be like the same one I already had before. Yep. Okay, so now we've hopefully blocked everything from running, from doing anything. I wonder if any of these are still running in RAM. Yeah, there they are. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart the computer, and uh, after it restarts, I'm going to run uh, C Cleaner, and then I'll do a couple of scans to see if anything's left over. So I will be back after C Cleaner runs. Okay, so I restarted. I ran C Cleaner, and um, as you can see, those processes that were launched before are gone. So they were in memory, but the second I restarted, they're not there anymore, which is good. And now I'm going to do a scan with Malwarebytes. Um, I don't see much of a whitelist here, but I would hope that if I treat it as an installer, it actually works. I really would hope that they get a whitelist. But anyway, I'll be back when uh, Malwarebytes is done scanning. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes scanned and it did not find anything good to see. So, I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro here, and uh, we'll see what it finds, if it finds anything. So I'll be back uh, when this is done. Okay, so, um, let me put my phone down here. Okay, so, um, Hitman Pro finished scanning and did not find anything, which is good to see. Now, as good as the security as uh, is provided here, it's, in my opinion, totally useless. I kept getting prompts for Windows processes. I got about 20 Windows pop up when Hitman Pro was running. Every time I was trying to run uh, a different driver for scanning or whatnot, it kept giving me pop-ups. Just constantly. They really need to work on a whitelist um, because I didn't see... I don't see one. Um, it's for apparently for its trusted apps here, I see two and it's their trusted. Um, so they really, they still need to work on this program. It, it works, uh, but I think it would drive most people up the walls because it asks you about everything constantly. So at this point in time, um, I personally, unless you really, really want to know everything that's going on in your system, including Windows processes, I probably wouldn't use it. That being said, it did protect the system and um, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to upload this review and talk to everybody later. Take care.